Right, hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I thought it was about time I'd done another proper video. Right, so I'm going to do a little catch up first, which some of you may have seen some bits and pieces on Facebook, some of you might not, but. Alright, yeah, so I've been mainly painting and prepping, so. As you can see, I've painted the bonnet on it now. The roof's already painted. And I've also painted this front valance, which come out really well. I don't know if you can see how shiny it is. But yeah, so back onto what I'm doing right right now is I've already totally stripped the boot lid down to the aluminium. This is exactly what I've done on the bonnet as well, by the way. So I stripped the boot lid right down, DA'd it with 80 grit paper, then it's been epoxy primed, and then it's our white primer, and now it's got a what's it called? A guide, I've put a guide coat on it. So the idea with the guide coat is we we flat it down 400 grit. We're using the 2K paint, so apparently 400 is good enough on a DA. So we'll take this right down so it's all white and you can't see any black, and that bit, and then that should be ready to paint them. I need to put a bit of guide coat on the red deck panel as well. I've got a cut of runs in that, but that's not going to matter because it's only the primer, and that's all going to flat out. But I've still got to put the guide coat on that one, so that's what I'm going to do now. Right, so the guide coat I've got is only just stuff from Alfred's, but that's more than anything because I needed some quickly because I didn't have any. But you know, you can get it on eBay. You can also get it in a powder in like a tin as well. But I haven't tried that stuff. But yeah, all you do just put a lot of dust and over the panel. No, you're not laying it on like paint. Because you're only taking it off again anyway. And that's it. So I'll wait for that to dry and then I'll start DAing off these two pieces, these two panels. Right, so I'm not sure what you will or won't be able to see, but... Right, so I don't know if you can see... spots there we probably can't try and zoom in but anyway, what you're doing is trying to take the back off well right, so it's all flat and that's it really all right let's zoom back out and I'll film a bit of it I'm not going to film all of it this is why I've been filming because it this stuff's all really boring, I think. But let's do a bit.
keep the pad as flat as possible as well because I'm not blocking it. I'm kind of blocking it with this, so just keep it moving. <laughs> So all my paint's mixed up now. Um, I'm gonna put a sort of a sketchy guide coat on it, and then leave it for like ten minutes, and then come back and give it another coat. Let's do it.
Right, so I'll leave that for a minute, I'll let that tack off and I'll give it another coat proper coat Right, so we're back for the second coat now, it's been about yeah, it's been about 10 minutes, but it's quite warm today it's all tacked off, so get another coat on That's gone on pretty nicely, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it one more coat. But let's see, leave it another 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, it's tacky. Yes, and that'll be it. Lovely job. Right, last coat. It's been about half hour, so hopefully, there's enough coat. I don't want to make that.
on back again um yeah so that's them two bits painted now so a few more bits to go on there soon but not yet because obviously even though it's dry now it's not dry dry but just show you quick it's a couple of bits of orange peel and a little bit of dirt in it but that will buff out but yeah on the oil I can see more shadow on it. You can see the reflection. It's hard to show it in here really, but there we go, if I stand about there, then you can see me, so you know, it's gone on pretty well. Yeah, I'm happy with it anyway. So we just need to give it once it's dried or after they say do it like the next day but I'll give it a few days and then I'll give it a buff well a flattened buff but yeah it'll come out good over the moon right so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon hopefully but I'm not going to keep filming the painting stuff because there's loads of it to do and it's all basically exactly the same. But I do need to do a bit of welding on one of the rear doors, a little repair, so I might even film that. I might not, but we'll see. Right, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.